Sam is an exceedingly unfortunate orphaned girl. Until the day she encounters a black feline who presents her with a fortuitous coin. Today, we shall summarize the plot of the 2022 film, Luck. Sam is an orphan who has recently turned 18 and is preparing to leave the orphanage. Her closest companion is Hazel, an eight-year-old girl who enjoys practicing dance routines with her. However, Sam is so ill-fated that the entire set collapses on her while the young woman rehearses the choreography to aid her friend. To dispel the misfortune that plagues her. Hazel offers one of the lucky items from her collection. The little girl has amassed all her charms in a small box to help her secure a home after a couple's visit scheduled for the upcoming weekend. The only piece missing from her collection is a lucky coin, which Hazel has yet to find. As they converse, the orphanage's director appears and informs them that the social worker has arrived to escort Sam to her new apartment. With a heavy heart, Sam bids farewell to her friend and promises that if she finds a lucky coin, she will bring it to Hazel before the visit. A few minutes later, Sam enters the car with a box containing all her documents. On the way to her new apartment, she opens the box and discovers an old photograph. The girl recalls that she was supposed to find a home that day, but the couple who intended to adopt her backed out at the last minute and failed to show up. This scenario repeated itself several times throughout Sam's life, and over time, she learned to cope with her misfortune. Upon reaching her final destination, the social worker hands the girl her keys, which she promptly drops beside a manhole. Fortunately, the keys do not fall through the small opening leading directly into the sewer until a bicycle rides over them. Given that Sam's lack of luck is her trademark, the social worker was already prepared for this and provides the young woman with an extra set of keys. After a restful night, Sam is awakened by the sound of the lawnmower. Since the window in her room is open, several leaves drift inside. She attempts to close the window to prevent the room from being overrun with plants. But she loses her balance and falls onto the bed. As she checks the time, she realizes that she only has a few minutes to prepare for her first day at work. Sam rushes to shower and, upon entering the bathroom, notices that the broom has caught the door. Unperturbed by this, as she is accustomed to such situations, she uses a toothpaste tube to lift the broom handle and open the door. Sam spends a few minutes searching for a pair of socks and then hurriedly grabs her breakfast. To complete the streak of bad luck, the pot of jam tips over the edge of the plate, causing the slice of bread to hit the wall, dirtying everything before it lands on the floor. After cleaning up the mess, the girl grabs her bike and heads to work. However, she quickly realizes that the tire is flat and needs inflating. Despite all these unforeseen setbacks, the young woman manages to arrive early at work and receives praise from her new boss. As the day progresses, though, Sam struggles with all the tasks, prompting Marvin to assign her to handle the shopping carts, reducing her chances of injury during work. Over the weekend, Sam visits the orphanage to say goodbye to Hazel before her adoption. Mrs. Rivera informs her that the visit has been cancelled, but the principal reveals that another couple has scheduled a visit in two days. Sam is disheartened at the thought of Hazel accumulating a file full of names of families who, like her, withdrew from adoption. Upon meeting her friend, Sam notices Hazel is deeply saddened and anxious about not being adopted. The young woman tries to lift her spirits, assuring Hazel that she will soon find a family. That night, Sam stops at a cafe for a meal, but the tables are all occupied, so she sits on the sidewalk. 
A black cat appears and settles beside her, prompting Sam to share her snack with the feline. After eating, the animal departs, and Sam stands to leave. As she picks up her napkin from the ground, she spots a coin and immediately thinks of Hazel. The girl is eager to find a coin to complete Hazel's collection of lucky items. Sam retrieves the coin, intending to bring it to her friend, hoping it will bring her enough fortune to be adopted by the next visiting couple. The following morning, something unusual occurs, Sam awakens precisely when her alarm goes off. The gardener is again trimming the grass, but this time, only a single leaf drifts into her room. As she prepares to bathe, the coin slips from her pocket, and she notices a four-leaf clover design on it. It appears that this truly is a lucky coin. To test her theory, Sam holds the coin while dropping a slice of bread with jam onto the plate. To her surprise, the jelly side lands upward. When she sets aside the coin and repeats the experiment, the jelly side falls downward. Convinced that this coin can help Hazel get adopted, Sam contacts the orphanage and informs Mrs. Rivera that she will visit later. At work, the girl relishes her first and last lucky day before handing the coin to Hazel. For the first time in her life, everything goes smoothly, and Marvin is impressed by his new employee's skills. In the evening, as Sam prepares to leave, she first visits the bathroom. She removes her phone and the coin from her pocket, placing him atop the toilet paper holder. What she doesn't know is that the toilet has an automatic flush, which startles her as the coin is flung upwards and falls into the adjacent toilet. Sam carefully tries to avoid triggering the flush, but her bad luck renders this task impossible. A drop of sweat drips from her face, sending the coin down into the sewer. Minutes later, while lamenting her misfortune, Sam encounters the same black cat from the previous night. She decides to confide in the animal, knowing no human would believe her story. When the cat learns that she flushed the coin, he becomes furious and begins scolding her. Startled, Sam closely observes the animal and notices the four-leaf clover symbol on its collar. At that moment, she realizes that the coin belonged to the cat and begs him to give her another one. Upon hearing this, the feline flees, and Sam chases after him through the streets. After pursuing him throughout the town without success, Sam eventually finds him hiding in an alley. The cat types a password on his keyboard, and a portal opens. Hoping to obtain another lucky coin, Sam decides to follow the cat through the portal and ends up in the land of luck. Realizing he's been followed by that annoying girl, Bob, the cat, panics since humans are forbidden in that place. Sam promises to leave as soon as the cat gives her another coin. But Bob explains that the coin wasn't a gift, it merely fell off his collar. He clarifies that the creatures of the land of luck have no fortune in the human world. So they use the coins when they visit. Suddenly, two goblins appear, and the cat asks Sam to hide. He inquires about his assistant, Jerry. And the goblins inform him that Jerry is in the coin warehouse. Sam then suggests they go to the warehouse to get a coin. However, only elves are permitted to enter the depository, so the girl must disguise herself to bypass the captain. Bob must surrender his coin to the captain, so Sam asks the cat to hand over the button from her fanny pack until they can retrieve a new coin. For some reason, the captain dislikes Bob and has always picked on him for no apparent reason. Therefore, Bob must distract her while handing over his coin to ensure she doesn't discover it's a button. Meanwhile, Sam sneaks past the elves' entrance, and they both head toward the locker room. 
Bob opens his assistant's locker and gives Sam an elf uniform. Two elves then appear, marveling at the girl's size. The cat claims she's from Latvia, where the world's tallest elves reside. After saying their goodbyes, the duo proceeds to the warehouse, and Sam is awestruck by the land of Lux in a workings. In this place, everything functions flawlessly, and the creatures live in perfect harmony. Bob rides a transport disc, believing Sam is right behind him. However, he soon realizes the girl is still up there and falls while trying to descend. The cat returns to help her, astonished by how unlucky this girl is. When they meet Jerry, Bob asks his assistant to show Sam how to work in the warehouse, as she's new and just arrived from Latvia. The leprechaun readily agrees to assist. First, they sit on a swivel chair to obtain a coin for polishing. After completing this task, they're transported through a tube that extracts the coins. During her second attempt, Sam pockets the coin before it's sucked away, but her plan fails. On her third attempt, she grabs the button at the coin machine, triggering a series of disasters. In addition to disrupting the entire team, she loses the button, which gets sucked up along with the coins. Desperate after causing such chaos, Sam confesses the truth to Jerry and pleads with the leprechaun to help her retrieve a new coin. The leprechaun is shocked to discover that the girl is human but agrees to assist them in locating the lost coin to prevent Bob's banishment to bad luck. After the incident, the emergency siren blares, and the captain arrives with the rabbits to inspect the area for any bad luck specs. As they brainstorm other ways to get a coin. Jerry after Sam tried to get a lucky coin by disguising herself as an elf and sneaking into the warehouse, things took a chaotic turn. They hatched a new plan involving an old rabbit drone that used to retrieve lost coins from the human world. However, this drone hadn't been used in years, and they needed to recharge it with a special lucky crystal. After successfully activating the drone and sending it to retrieve the coin from the human world, more trouble ensued. The drone returned with the coin, but it was covered in sewage. Before they could clean and retrieve it, the coin was sucked back into the system, lost once again. This forced Sam, Bob, and Jerry to venture into a dangerous area called the In-Between, a space that connects the land of luck with the land of bad luck, to try to recover the coin. Unfortunately, an accident sent him to the land of bad luck instead. There, they had to navigate a hostile environment where everything worked in reverse compared to the land of luck. Amidst these challenges, Sam realized that her bad luck wasn't solely to blame for all her problems. Sometimes her own actions had worsened the situations she found herself in. Ultimately, the team managed to retrieve the lost coin and narrowly avoided disaster in the land of luck. This adventure led Sam to understand the importance of both good and bad luck. And the role each played in life. By the end, Sam was able to find a balance between them. Helping her friend Hazel finally get adopted and discovering that her own bad luck wasn't the obstacle she had always believed it to be.